What is going on, people? This is another edition of the Ace Takers Rants, and this is uh, my thoughts on American Idol week number five. Um, doing this pretty late again this tonight. Uh, I was uh, had some trouble uploading these uh, performances, and uh, one of my girls was trying to uploaded on her channel and uh, had a little bit of trouble there so I was trying to help her out uh, found out a little bit of something I'm going to address it in a separate video but it's a little bit of something that us uploaders uh, are experiencing this week which kind of um, you know led to this uh, troubling thing that we had there but let, let's get into idol here this is week number five and uh, let me just say this their best overall show easily of the season so far um, this this season just keeps getting better and better, man. Um, no doubt about it. I mean, at this point, it's making the naysayers who keep saying this is the worst season or or have gotten on that bandwagon of trying to end Idol and all that shit. Um, it's really starting to make them look bad. They, I, I mean, I, I, I've been looking in the forums and stuff like that all night, and those people were reaching for China. Like you could tell, they just couldn't find anything. They 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 know they lost right now they know they pretty much lost right now uh because they tried to find a negative and they really couldn't they tried to go back to the off-key shit and like uh okay but you didn't bother to address the uh, awesome performances by at least about four or five of the contestants tonight so you know those people try to they try to make their own little twists and shit here, but uh, nobody's falling for that shit. I can see right through it. We can see right through it. The people who are acknowledging season 13 as potentially one of the best seasons. Um, Like I told you guys before, I'm not going to put it up against the other seasons just yet. I'm going to wait until around mid to late April to do that. Um, Because uh, right now, I still... I want to say early in the competition, but it's still kind of around that time where we still need some filling out, you know what I mean? Because we're nowhere near the finale right now. We still got a long ways to go. So, I think I believe we got about, what is it, around seven or eight weeks to go, I believe. Oh, yeah, we got we got a little bit of a roll here. Uh, at least, uh, yeah, I believe it's around, um, I believe it's around seven weeks. I think but either way you know uh, we got a long ways to go but I felt like tonight's show last week's was already good and to top this the to top last week was even better and I think the thing about it is the top three that I had last week which was Jenna Jessica and Caleb all stepped the game game up tonight Oh my God, because Je uh, Jenna and Kayla had a little bit of trouble last week, but not too much, but Jessica consistently just keeps doing her thing, man. Just keeps doing her thing. But I'm going to go over them and what I thought, you know, a little later on in this uh, in this rant. You know, I made the rant close to an hour last week. I'm not sure how long this one's going to be. I'm probably going to make it like a leap, like maybe at least 30 minutes, I think. You know, I don't know. I, I kind of do this on the fly, so I don't like have a plan here on <laughs> how long this is going to be so you know we'll see um because i also had to make another video so i don't want to spend too much time on this but um but yeah guys um very good week i thought some solid performers there were probably only about two weak ones this week um, that I, well, I wouldn't even call it that week. I just call it, you know, just not that very good. And I'll probably start out with those right now. Um, I thought that tonight, um, Dexter and Sam had two worse tonight. Um, you know, some people will say Sam was all right. And some people will say Sam was pretty bad. Um, but I think it's universally clear unless you're, a diehard country fan that Dexter was off his game tonight. I thought that, uh, you know, I, I, I when I was watching him, I was just like, man, Dexter, dude. You know, because the only thing that I, I give Dexter credit to is that he stays in his genre, but he's getting beyond boring now for people. And he's not really sticking out in this competition. Like, in, in the trouble that he's having, you got another guy just like him in CJ who's – been running back and forth on that soul and countryside and he's been he's been doing a really good job man 
He's been quiet. I think he's very underrated, to be honest with you. Um, uh, it, it, and, I, and I really believe the country audience is, they just want to get behind someone that's in their genre. Just get behind CJ and leave Dexter behind tomorrow. Um, Dexter needs to be eliminated tomorrow. That's who I got down to get eliminated. Uh, I just thought he was dead awful and dead boring. I mean, you know, it's one thing to play it safe because I, I, the one thing you could say, because when, when you go with Scotty McCreary, Scotty McCreary season, he owned that season and he stayed in his genre. He went with that Elvis. He went with, he, he kind of back, went back and forth. He went with a popish type Elvis you know, kind of classic rock to um, country a little bit. But he kind of switched, though. That's the thing that Dexter's not doing. He's not switching to, like, a classic rock type thing. You know, he's not really doing nothing like that. I, that's one of the things that I did like about Ben Briley. I just thought that Ben Briley wasn't as good as Dexter. And that was the only downfall with Ben Briley that if he could have found something to make himself really stick out because I like the way he was venture it, it was just that he was making too many dangerous risks there was three country guys in the competition it just wasn't going to work for him man it just kind of the numbers just kind of worked against Ben Riley man um and, and with Dexter he just hasn't gone a smart route he just he's not sticking out like Scotty was he was sticking out. Lauren that season was sticking out. He's not sticking out right now. And he's just looking beyond boy. You can't, that's one thing you can't do in the music genre. He, the music genre is entertainment. You can't bore folks, you know. Because the thing you want to do is you want to you, you want to promote that country sound because you know, I, I love country music, you know what I mean? I'm not I'm not like a um, I'm not like a historian where I can tell you all these things about country music in the past. I just listen to some of the so, I, I tell you what, I listen to country more than most people. That's where I'm at with country. You know, it's not one of my main genres, but, you know, I love, I, I respect the country genre, though, man. They do a lot of good stuff. I love watching their award shows. They're pretty good. They got a, they got one coming on, uh, I believe, CBS in a couple of weeks. Um, I, I might watch that one. Or is it next week? It's the one with Blake Shelton, but uh, I might watch that one, you know. They always put on a good show, so... Um, like I said, you know, it, 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 he he just he just, he just doesn't have it, guys. He just doesn't, man. But he's got to go home, you know, pretty much. Um, and then you got Sam. Like I said, Sam is is he's represented by the Teeny Boppers. Um, I don't think he's going. Home. He's definitely not going home this week. He'll probably be in the bottom with Dexter, but he's not going home. I think his first realistic chance of going home might be next week. He has to step it up big time next week. He has to get a universal good performance. Right now, he's kind of half-assing it out there. And that's why you never hear about Sam having a, one of the top performances of the night. You never hear about that. He's been staying consistently either in the middle or towards the bottom. You know, he hasn't done anything to really stick himself out. And he sounds so out tune. I don't know what's wrong with his voice sometimes. But I see the potential there with Sam, but he's just not tapping into it too well. So... He's got to step it up, you know, in my opinion, uh, in order to last long. You know, like I said, he's a, he's, he seems like a good, cool kid, you know, very laid back, you know, quiet. Um, you know, I, I, like I said, obviously he took over the pretty boy reign in his, com in, in his competition. So, you know, I, I, I like to see him improve, you know. Like, I'm not one of these guys that just want to see him get out of there because he's a pretty boy or whatever like that. I don't care about that stuff, you know, to be honest with you. You know, um, if he's good enough to be in this competition, then he's good enough to um, stay as long as he needs to. But at the same time, where I'm coming from on this is is that I really feel like the kid, I don't know, you know, when, when we start getting deeper in the competition, I don't think he has a place here, you know, because he got some, he's got, you know, he's fighting, another guy he's fighting right now is Alex. You know, Alex is really part of his rival, you know, so he's got a, like I said, he just got to step it up. You know, he's got to find a way to challenge his, um, channel his, um, his stuff right now. And I think he'll eventually get there. I think he'll eventually get there and we'll see what happens from there. But for right now, the kid, the kid's got to step it up. You know what I mean? So, you know, like I said, you know, I just hope that he finds some tune in there because right now he's looking pretty awful. All right.
So those are the only two that I thought did bad tonight or did average. I thought Sam was probably more on the average side, but it was still kind of bad also. Uh, I gave both of them like two out of tens. Um, really, I, um, in my vote, I didn't give anybody anywhere from like a three to about a seven tonight. Everything was either under a three or over a seven tonight. So it was uh it was that kind of night where I really felt pretty good about the contestants. Now let's get into Alice Preston since he's the one that led it off tonight. Now what's weird about uh, remember uh, for those of you who watched my rant last week, I I, I, I was hard on Alex um Alex last week and some people were like, "Ah, oh, I love Alex's uh, performance last week and they were trying to tell me like in some of the forums that uh, hey, you're crazy. He was pretty good." But then when I'm when I say this one is good, they're kind of like, "Oh, I don't think it's good just because it sounded like, you know, because it was a no doubt cover. You know, no doubt is Gwen Stefani's old group back in the 90s." And uh I was like, I was digging it. And then the judges were against him too. I was like, "Okay, this is ass backwards." When he's finally that was the best one I seen from him all season, and then when he's when he's finally on his game, in my opinion, I'm like, what are these people seeing? Am I am I actually seeing things that more differently that they don't even see it them damn selves? So I was wondering about that. You know, if that was the case, I can deal with it. Trust me, I can deal with it. If I, if I was that indifferent on this whole damn thing, but it was just weird to me, man. I, I said, man, the kid was better this week. Um. You know, in my top three, I think he's one of the ones who could break it. Malaya could break it. You know what I'm saying? Um, he'll probably make it. He, he's got a good chance of making it to the finals. He's pretty popular. So, that's one of the things that I, that I think is going to carry him. Um, but, he, he's yeah, he's he's a definite wild card. He's a definite could make it far. So, like I said, I, li I like them this week. But, um you know, I know, I know this whole thing about his teeth and shit like that. You know, the dude got, the dude got some. He looked like a serial killer at times. Like, you know, when I used to watch Criminal Minds religiously every week. You know, um, like he used to look like one. He he just looked like one of the fucking serial killers, man. He, the fucking buff teeth and I'm like this dude, man, ugly as fuck. But <laughs> hey, that don't matter, man. The dude, the dude could play though. The dude could play some. Go he could play some guitar. And he could fucking sing, dude. So. Um, Alex, like I said, you know, the thing about Alex is I'd rather have CJ over him. If I had to choose one or the other, I'd rather choose C CJ, honestly, because they're kind of both of the same a little bit, except that they, they're in different genres. You could tell kind of like Alex is probably in like sort of like more of the indie range or Philip Phillips type deal, you know, um, and CJ is in more of that country soul side. So they're kind of in different genres, but I always kind of compare them a little bit because they got guitars and look, CJ ain't white, but it used to be called white guys with guitars. Maybe you guys heard that one before. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I was bizarre. he was solid this week, man. I think I gave that dude like a seven or eight this week, or maybe even higher than that. I think I gave him a nine. Yeah, I think I gave that dude a nine this week, so he was pretty solid to me. Um, while we were on CJ, I've been I keep on talking about CJ, so I might as well talk about it right now. Um, CJ, you know, CJ rebounded from last week, big time, big time rebound from my guy CJ, man. Um, starting to turn into one of my favorites in the competition. The guy has been underrated. I think he's been, I think he's been an underdog in this damn competition. Um, he's been quietly doing his thing, man, I'm telling you. Like I said, last week he was just a little bit off key, but... Still pretty good last week, um, and then he just rebounded greatly from from last weekend. He was on his shit, man. He was on his shit. Looks like he wants to win. Uh, he's got some things to still kind of fix here uh, because he needs another blow away performance too. So he's kind of in that. He's kind of in that bubble where he needs a little blow away performance. But for the most part, this guy, uh, this, this guy's getting it done, man. This guy's getting it done. Um, he's just, he's so damn good. So, um, like I said, man, it, it, he's in my final four still. Um, but I don't know how far he's going to get. Like I said, he's got a huge obstacle. You know, I think what's going to work in his favor is just getting past Dexter. Um, then he's just got to get past Dexter, man. Um, and I think he'll get, 
If not, he probably already got it all ready to country votes because people thought he was going to sit in that bottom three last week and he didn't sit in that bottom three. So he might get the country votes, man. I'm telling you, if it plays out that way again with Dexter's in the bottom and he's not, I'm telling you, he's got the country votes the rest of the competition. And then once Dexter's eliminated, they're, ha they're going to be hanging on to Dexter every fucking week. And like I said, he's got that other audience. He's the only black male left in the competition. And people forget about that. People are going to want to vote for someone who's a black male left in the competition, man. And he's one of the solid ones that we've had in a minute here on Idol. So, um, you know, he's going to stay. He's going to, he's, he's going to stay. He's going to stay. I, I, I think we get at least about three to five weeks. Three to five more weeks out of him before he gets eliminated, um, in my opinion. I'm not sure if he's making it to May. Maybe the first week is the is the latest I give him, but um, we'll see. We'll see. I hope he does, but you know it's hard to tell. All right, four down, five to go. Who we got left? Let's talk about Majesty. Yes, let's talk about Majesty. Majesty, man, I'm telling you, people want to lie and say that she, I mean, she might end up at the bottom three again, but I think she's going to escape. I think she's going to escape. This will be her fourth time, but this could possibly be the last. I think she's only been in the bottom three because everyone above her has just been that good. And she's got kind of a late start here. So I definitely see her in the bottom three. But she's, she's not going home, though, man. I, I think it's Dexter for sure, man. But. Could be wrong, man. It'll be sad if, if Majesty does leave. I think I think after losing MK last week, I hope we don't lose another girl. Um, I hope we at least keep Majesty in there. And I think Malaya needs to push because that's going to be her rival. She needs to push. And Majesty is going to give her that push. And, and to me, Majesty's been on A game the last couple of weeks. She rebounded after that horrible performance she had two weeks ago. Man, she had straight rebounded. She stayed. She went with Florence in the machine this week. Um, like I said, she's a different type of black female singer, man. She she delves out of, outside of her uh outside of the usual genre. It's not her genre, but the usual genre of R and B and soul. So that's what I really like about it. she's different, man. And like I said, she's got that Jonelle Monet type of mystique about her. Um, and uh, I think I think she needs to stay, man. I, I mean, I, I I hear some people saying she was horrible. Oh, no. Nah, I, dude, I, I just think she's got some haters. I think a lot of it comes from some jealousy. You know, she's a beautiful black girl. And I don't know. It's just like with Malaya. I'm trying to figure out where the hate coming from um, on these girls. But these two girls are awesome, man. They've been, they've been really stepping their game. I've been respecting them more and more because... When it has been time for them to rebound and get out of that top, that bottom three, they've really responded, man. Like I said before, the only reason why Majesty probably remains in that bottom three is because of the, the the other contestants are kind of ahead of her right now. She got her start really late. Um, that's why that's why I point out to you guys. A couple of weeks ago, for some of these, for this, you know, oh, I didn't fucking do a rant two weeks ago, but um, for some of these some of these performers, they kind of um. They get late starts, so you, you end up looking at it that way, and you see it that way. So that's pretty much the case with Majesty. It's just a late start for her, but for the most part, she's going to be okay. She's going to be okay. You know, um, no reason to really um, worry about her too much. Uh, in my opinion, I think I think she's I think she's going to be okay. Majesty, like I said, she still needs to work on some things here and there, but Majesty, like I said, she's getting on the game. She's a fighting her way through this competition. You know what she reminds me of? For those of you who watched X Factors last season, Carlito Olivero. Motherfuckers wanted him gone. He stayed all the way into the top three, dawg. That's who she reminds me of, Carlito. She's a fighter. He was a fucking fighter in that competition. One of the best. Man, I wish more people could have watched that season of X Factor because... Carlito was a fucking fighter in that competition, man. And those of you who watch X Fighter knows what the hell I'm talking about. That dude should have been gone more than a month. You know, because people just kept on trying to blame it on Carlito. And then they got then the the fire finally got who it should have been on in the first place, and that was Rian Page, who was the handicapped girl. 
uh, it should have been put on her, you know, but people were trying to play that off uh, because she was, uh, she wasn't really having cash. She just had a joint, this f- joint thing with her. Uh, well, her arms are real short and shit, and she was short. But, um, like I said, man, he was a fighter, and Madison really reminds me of that. And, like I said, if she survives next week, man, she's going to keep building her audience up. She's going to be a fucking player. She's going to be a fucking player. And she might keep surviving week to week, man. She might even out-survive uh, um, Alex and Malaya. Look for that. I'm telling you, tomorrow is the key week for Majesty. She gets past this week, she's going to be dangerous. Because I don't see her in that bottom three um, next week. Especially if Sam fails. It's all gravy for her, man. It's all gravy. She's going to make it far. Not top three far, but she's going to make it far. You're going to see her for another few weeks. Um, but let's get to Malaya. We're talking about Malaya right now. Malaya, A-game. The whole month of March, A-game. Since sitting in that bottom three, she said, I don't want to be in that bottom three again. That's what she's been telling people every fucking week. She's been telling her, she's been telling her haters, fuck you. I am the shit. You know what I mean? The thing about Malaya is, she just hasn't been in that top three for me. That's the only thing about it. She just hasn't been in that top three for me, man. That's the only thing about it, man. Um... Because, I, 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 I mean, to be honest with you guys, I know Candice had one last year representing the soul, R&B and soul genre. I'm just not feeling that genre this year, man. I'm feeling the rock genre in this competition, man. I want someone in that genre to win or be in the final two, man. I don't want to see anybody outside of that genre fucking win. Um, that's where I'm at, man. If it was any other season... I would have had Malaya easily part either winning this thing or being in the top two at least, man. Any other season. Put her in those weak-ass season ass season 11 and 12. And like I said, those people keep calling season 13 weak. I want you to re-watch 9, 11, and 12 and you get back to me, okay? Anyways. um, Like I said, man. Malaya's another one who keeps fighting, man. And she is, she is doing her thing, man. She is doing her thing. Wild card like a motherfucker in this competition, man. It's going to be hard to get rid of Malaya. And the thing about Malaya is she ain't had a bad performance in about a month. That's the other thing. That's why I said it's going to be tough to get rid of fucking Malaya, man. She literally, and I think she found uh, where she needs to be now. Uh, I think Harry gave her really good advice. You know, Harry sometimes can be can be very good in his um, criticism, but then he'd be off like I'm about to discuss with Jessica later tonight. Uh, I mean, I said tonight in his rant. Um, she just needs to work with, uh, work more with people that, you know, with the bands and stuff. I think all of them really shine tonight because of the bands. Uh, work more with people who are at the piano, uh, her own fucking instruments and shit like that, guitars and all that shit, man. I think she just needs to settle in and, 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 and just practice and perform with them because she's been she's been blossoming through this competition. I know some people are are, are kind of got this mentality where uh, it's idol pushing her on them. I don't think she is because she's actually been coming out there. It might be a little bit of that because she's got a good personality. It works in this competition. She's got the Filipino audience behind her. Look, I don't, I don't blame the show for doing that. You know what I'm saying? Um, like I said, that when we get to the, about the top six, man, it is going to be interesting. I cannot wait till we get to the top six, man. That's three weeks from now. I cannot wait. I cannot wait because I feel like all of these motherfuckers are going to be doing pretty good, man. Real talk, but. Uh, I believe that rounds out the six who didn't make the top three for me. Um, let's see here. Let's see here, folks. Um, top three. Top three time. Top three time. I think this video is going to be shorter than last week because I, I didn't... Maybe, oh, I think I was talking way too much last week. Shit. 
I was talking way too much last week, guys. Um, okay, top three, then. Let's delve into this top three. Um, like I said, let's do it like this because um, I don't really had the best performers performing tonight. CJ, he was in there. He, he was one of the best tonight. He was the fourth best tonight. And... I don't did it right this week. They had these people closing the show off. That's why the show was actually more amazing than it probably looked to some people. Um, but man, I mean, once they got to Jessica, she led things off. Man, her best performance of the season. Oh my God, man. She just keeps doing it. But the way I'm going to do it, I'm going to start with Caleb and then I'm going to go into Jenna. Then I'm going to go into Jessica. Let's start with Caleb right now. Legendary, 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 all-time top idol performance. All-time, man. I put that in the top five right fucking now, man. I put that in the top five right now. His performance. Best one. It could be the best one this this whole entire fucking season. My fear with Caleb is, can he even top that shit next week? Can he even top that? Because that was so good. It could be a blessing and a curse for him. Um, I know you guys have heard you say a blessing and a curse. I think it's a blessing and a fucking curse, dude, that he had such a good performance, but can he top it, man? Because anything with that example is going to be good. Um, but it felt like because of the way his singing style, because you already... You already kind of felt it earlier. Um, and what I mean by that is... Um, earlier... Uh, doing a group performance, which is a fucking disaster. I don't know who fucking put that together. That was a fucking disaster. Jessica should have been in that Fallout Boy, Boy piece. But he actually sounded like he was already in Fallout Boy. Like he was the main singer and shit like that. And then later on in the night, he does his Led Zeppelin thing. He was on his A game, man. He, dude, the dude sounds like he is already a, a performer out there, man. He's already on tour in his own band and shit like that. Him, Jessica, and Jenna all feel way too big for Idol. And someone brought up something very interesting. Because just in case Caleb does not work, and I believe he will work after the, you know, after the competition as far as his career goes. I think he'd be the next Daltry. But it's hard to predict with these guys because of promotion for these labels and shit like that. But with Caleb, man, I really just hope that he that it's not a ble that it's not a curse that he's been on idle and then people will kinda look at him pretty badly. Uh that that's that's my fear, man, from Caleb right now. That's my fear. Uh, is that he could be in that direction. But I also feel for Caleb that the promotion may actually help him, which is which is what this program is supposed to do. It's supposed to be a promotion base for you to get loyal fans behind you. And I have to feel it, 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 see with Idol's audience getting a little smaller, you know, uh, you know, as far as ratings go, I was like yeah, I really hope that people, these people get behind them, the girls and stuff like that. Uh, because, like I said, I'm just worried about that, man. Because the guy is that fucking awesome, man. He needs to get out there. Dude, I, I, I think I might have rewatched that like three times already. To his, his fucking performance. Led Zeppelin, one of my favorite all-time bands, man. Listen to Cashmere. Listen to Immigrant, please. Dude, th th this dude got it, man. This dude... This dude got it, man. I, I, I'm telling you right now, man. That was fucking legendary. I had no criticisms for the dude. Absolutely zero. That was a huge rebound from last week. He had a challenging song from Lady Gaga. and But he was able to really step it up this week. And he's been showing his versatility. Like the Gaga song in Adelaide, I think that was two weeks ago with Skyfall. Dude's been showing his versatility, man. He's not, he's not just a typical rock singer. He could go outside... Of his genre, he's been showing it. That's that's how Meatloaf was, and that's the guy who I 
because he's heavy set and then he's got kind of his got kind of his style, man. Um, the guy is a young Taylor Hicks man, but but not in the, you know Taylor Hicks wasn't in the rock genre. He just got the same voice, man. <laughs> uh, so, who is fucking awesome? The weird thing about it was. I thought Jessica had the best performance of the night, and he just kicked her ass. He keeps doing that, man. Every time Jessica has, like, a really... Jessica had the best one last week. But sometimes when Jessica has that best performance, he always outshines it, man. So, it's another good-looking rivalry right there. That's why I want to see them two in the final two, because they could rock out toe-to-toe -to -toe that fucking week. And it'd be fucking awesome, man. It'd be fucking awesome to see them in the final two. Dude, it'd be a dream. But here's where things got a little tricky. So Caleb does his thing, right? He gets the audience off their feet. The judges, J Lo was rocking through his shit. There was a tough task for Jenna Irene. Now, I was really when I okay, after he was done, I started thinking about Jenna Irene. I was like, oh shit, Jenna Irene is in fucking trouble right here. She was in fucking trouble. Hold on, let me take a break, guys. Take a break. Cooking late tonight because I didn't get a chance to fucking eat because of that shit. So let me do this shit real quick. I'll be back in like two minutes. Yeah, hey, what's up, guys? I'm back. Huh? I, I, I'm gonna edit that part out. <laughs> but um, I think I left off on Jenna Irene. Yeah, I did. Okay. Yeah, but Jenna, man. Um, um, last week she struggled in her first twenty seconds of her song, but then she had an amazing performance. I think it was just a whole thing because she had the star out, star on the crowd that kind of fucked her up a little bit. But she was entirely on that stage. She's gotten very comfortable on that goddamn stage. She was one of the ones in the beginning where I felt like if she just gets comfortable with the stage, she's going to be bringing it every fucking time. She is her and Jessica. You could you could compare them to Haley Reinhardt like a fucking T man. The, those two motherfuckers are consistent, but they get this tough judging for some reason, especially Jessica. Very unwarranted. Um, like, I just don't feel like some of their... I just don't feel like some of their criticism is accurate all the time. But Jenna, man, um, but she ain't really had bad criticism tonight. Jenna fucking did it, man. You want to talk about tough? The toughest job I've seen in a long time here on Idol or any other talent competition I've seen in a while. Someone have to, having to go against a legendary performance like Caleb had in rocking it. Dude, I was like, I was so worried about Jenna. I was like, man, she has to go, she has to go behind the Caleb like that. And she, you know, they even addressed it afterwards. You know, poke fun at it. You know, I heard uh, Seacrest. She was like, I can't believe I had to go go behind that. But she did her thing. She stayed poised. She did her thing like a bullet. And that's she's going to end up becoming a professional. And that's what a professional does. They stay poised, and that's what she did. Um, huge props to her, man. Jenna. Jenna. Huge props. Huge props to you doing that. And to me, that really solidified her in my top three. It's going to be hard for me to take her out of my top three now. Because when you go behind somebody like that, you just rock it out. And then the other thing was she had an Evan Essence cover to do. So that was hard enough. You knew people were going to be judging her on that. You know, that's the only thing about doing a well-known cover. Is that those fans or, 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 or those people who are familiar with those type of songs, they're going to judge pretty hard. And she succeeded the task. I didn't hear any complaints from really the, the Evanescent fans I haven't heard. And the Jenner fans were kind of more digging this this week than last week's performance. I mean, J Jenna did her thing, man. Jenna, Jenna, see, the thing about Jenna is she could go full on piano and then she could go full on rock. She's very, very versatile, man. And I'm telling you right now, she's making it very hard for Jessica right now because she is, she, I'm telling you, man, this, this got to be the top three, man, because these three are just rocking it out this season, man. It's like, it's very hard to choose sometimes who had the best. 
I think overall it was pretty clear it was Caleb this week, but next week who knows between these three who's going to be the best. And who even knows they'll even be in the top three next week. Um, I, I think they will because they've been the most consistent through the, throughout this whole competition, in my opinion. Like I said, I saw some of the agenda that wild card week, and I said, man, she's going to be a player in this. Um, she, she going to be she going to be a player in this. So, uh, man, so good, so good. And then Jessica earlier tonight, the game with Fleetwood Max. I said it was coming. It was coming for Jessica, but. It was actually a good thing for Jessica because nobody covers Stevie Nicks better than her, man. I've heard, I've been listening to Fleetwood Mac for, for a very long time now, and I heard so many covers, people trying to emulate Stevie Nicks, and it doesn't even come close to it. Because what Jessica does with it is just natural. She's not intended on being Stevie Nicks, she just has her shit close to Stevie Nicks, man. And, uh. Man. Man, what a fucking performance she had tonight. She would have had the best if Caleb didn't do that shit. Because I thought hers was slightly better than Jenna's. But, and I thought I was listening to the real recording. I listened to her shit like three times tonight too. I thought I was listening to a real Fleetwood Mac song, man. It was just that fucking similar, man. And I wish the judges would have bought that up, man. Um, that that shit actually sounded like a Fleetwood Mac song, man. Um... Because it was, man. I mean, it was that fucking good. I mean, oh my god, dude, this was this was amazing. This I, I can't even put it into words right now. How how fucking amazing that fucking that fucking performance was, man. I was blown away, man. And that's why Jessica has continued to be my favorite. And the overall favorite, you know, I love Caleb, I love Jenna, but overall favorite, man, from the get-go, has been Jessica, man. Ever since I saw her in Hollywood week with all that drama, them bad edits she got, man, I was like, man, and she, it, because the thing was, I don't think I remember her from the auditions, so I didn't really know, the girl that she was going against was, um, uh, what's her name, uh, I forgot her name, but she was similar to her, she didn't make it, I thought she, uh, Dude, I don't know if it was a blessing or a curse that she didn't make it because maybe she could have outside Jessica a little bit. And that's probably why they didn't take both of them. Now I'm kind of understanding why they didn't take both of them. Uh, but, but dude, I mean, because she already got Jenna I read to deal with. That, that, that right there is already too much for Jessica right now. Um, but, like I said, man. It was just something about her, man, because I was like, man, she's giving off a different vibe from a lot of these other contestants. She's giving off that laid back, I don't give a damn type vibe that, you know, and she got a good personality too, because she, she makes me laugh every week in her pieces. She said some shit tonight where, um, I think it was something like, uh, you know, it, it, you know, if, if the world, something about the world being in trouble or whatever, and, you know. We all have to hunt because she 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 told everybody she was a hunter and shit. You know she hunts. Uh, she loves to hunt. You know and she was like, hey, you you might want to have a, us rednecks around. You know, <laughs> I was like, yeah, you got a point there, man. If y'all know how to hunt for people, man, hunt for animals and shit, man, I'm definitely wanting you on my damn team. There's no doubt about that. But um, yeah, and, and she showed her versatility. She plays violin. She plays all these different fucking instruments. And another thing I got respect for her on is that she sets up her own shit when she was doing these, where she was performing at these only bars and all these other places and shit like that. She sets her own shit up out of her car and shit. Stereos, everything. And she's the only one out there doing it. I mean, I had a ton of respect for that. And I didn't know Alex and Caleb were doing the same thing. They were, they were kind of setting up shop at these different places. I think most of these contestants... Except for the really young ones like Sam and Malaya. I think most of them kind of perform like that, like they go around and perform. But it seems like Jessica's the most seasoned at it. Like she's been doing it for a while. Um, and uh, I was amazed, man. I said, man, she's paid her dues. That's for damn sure. That's why I hope she, she makes it after this show, man. Because she paid her fucking dues, man. She deserves to... 
get out there and be successful, make some money, man. I, I, I'm not saying like mainstream, like Caleb might be, but at least successful enough where she's having a pretty good music career. You know what I mean? You know, because not everybody needs to be a mainstream success. You know what I mean? So, you know, she 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 could be kind of on that level. Um, I think she can mess with the country. She can mess with the rock. I think those are two genres are waiting for someone like her right now. She could definitely make it in country right now because I, I always pair a little bit to Casey Musgraves. Um, like I said, if you guys watched my um, video last week, I hope you looked her up. Uh, Casey, if you didn't, look her up. Try to look her up this time. Very similar. Very similar. She's got a distinct style and voice very throwback country 60s type throwback country uh usually when jessica delves in the country it's usually about the 60s to kind of 70s um like last week was sort of delving into that 70s side but she did another 70s song this week with flea will mac and she just has that versatility man it's awesome her, her jenna and caleb so let me get ready to wrap this up. Um, holy shit, man. I'm about to make it to another. Uh, uh, I think it's almost the same time as last week. I didn't think it was going to be that long. Um, but anyways, like, you know, what I'm seeing out of this season, I'm loving it, man. I'm, I'm loving the growth, man, of this season, man. It's proving people wrong every week. Um, it's getting better and better. I feel it. It's getting better and better. Um, there's some good news. It looks like Fox is going to renew it again. Um, but the show's future is bleak after next season, so we don't know um, what's going on after next season. Also, pretty good news from uh, So You Think You Dance. Coming back May 28th. Got a date now. America's Got Talent is on the 27th. So you think your dance is on the 28th. And on my channels, uh, the, the the performances will be uploaded. So I cannot wait until then, man. I cannot wait. I got that week marked on my calendar right now, man. Uh, so May 28th for So You Think You Dance. It'll be on Wednesdays this season, not Tuesdays. Very big change from last year. It's going to be on Wednesday. So I think with Vital, you know, kind of, I'm getting kind of used to Wednesdays now. So... I think that's a pretty cool night instead of Tuesday. That way I can just focus on America's Got Talent on Tuesdays. Because that, that was a little bit difficult last week. I mean, last year where I had to... So you think you dance first and then America's Got Talent. I was kind of already tired by the time I was watching the, uh, America's Got, Got Talent. Because I used to watch So You Think You Dance live. And then America's Got Talent. So it's a little bit difficult. I'm glad they got them on... I'm really glad they got them on different nights this year. Um, But yeah, guys. That would be about it for now. I'll be doing another one tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to go over everything, who gets eliminated, all that shit, um, and everything else. So and then I'm going to... Uh, let me rank them real quick. Let me rank them for the night real quick. So, at number 9, I got Dexter. Number 8, I got Sam. Number 7, I believe I got... Number 7, I believe I got Alex at number 7. Number six, Majesty. Number five, Malaya. Number four, CJ. Number three, uh, this is where it gets tough. Uh, number three, Jenna. Number two, Jessica. And number one, Caleb. So Caleb back in the, Caleb back in first this week. So that's how it goes, folks. Peace. And I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, also, um, I did do a Dance with the Stars rant this week. I might wait until next week because there wasn't too much going on this week. I'm probably going to wait until next week unless I decide to do one tomorrow. If I don't do it tomorrow, then it will be next week. So that's how that goes. Uh, thank you, guys. Peace.